Hey guys, today we're going to be showing you the polishing and grinding machine. Once you get your sample from the hot forming machine, you need to grind it and polish it. This machine does both of those. So grinding uses grit paper, or you can call it sandpaper, something that looks like this. Now you have various types of grit, starting from 180 all the way up to 1200. Now you want to start by cutting your sample with a very rough grid paper. Anything with a lower number generally cuts rougher and anything with a higher number usually cuts finer. So you want to start with the lower numbers and work your way out. So we're going to show you how to mount it. It's quite simple. Let's start with a 180 grid. You want to start by opening the lid of the machine. Put it to the side. Now there's a little ring that's clipped to the side of this rotating plate. You want to remove that ring. And you want to put it to the side for now. You want to take your sandpaper and put it in the center of the rotating disc. You want to bring your ring and place it back onto the sandpaper and back around the rotating disc. And snap it back into place. With your sandpaper mounted, we're going to sand the sample you got from the hot press machine. Now, before you sand your sample, you want to make sure that you use a little bit of water from the tap. To run the machine, you use the console below, and you can select a pre-selected speed, which is 300, 500, and 800. Once you've selected your appropriate speed, you click run once to get the machine to start, and you can press that same button to get the machine to stop. There are other buttons on the machine, but you don't have to worry about them yet. Now you want to take your sample and just touch the sandpaper and don't apply too much pressure. You want to basically hold it in place so that it can be ground evenly. Now you want to make a note that when you're going up the different grit of sandpaper, you want to switch the direction that you sand your sample. It should be in a crisscross pattern as you go through the different types of sandpaper. This is to prevent deep gouges and any imperfections in your actual sample itself. Now that we're done grinding our sample, we can move on to polishing it. Now we're going to use the other head of the machine. And we're going to use a polishing pad instead of a sandpaper. A polishing pad is basically a fabric in which we apply powder and liquid to make a paste that can more finely grind the surface of your sample. Now this powder that we're going to be using is called alumina and it comes in two different sizes, one micrometer and 0.5 micrometers. So we're going to start with one micrometer and move on to 0.5. Now the way to apply the polishing pad is the same as it is for the sandpaper. There's a ring around the rotating plate that you want to remove and add the pad onto. So now with the polishing pad, you don't want to keep the water running because if you do, you're going to wash away all of your powder. When you are applying the powder, you always want to start with a little, like a quarter of a cup, and you want to apply it to the pad itself and then use a little bit of water to make it into a paste. And then as you polish, add a bit of water or keep the water trickling just so that you don't wash the alumina off but you keep it moist. So like before you want to run the machine and then put your sample onto the polishing pad and with this you can apply a little bit more pressure because the polishing compound does not cut as aggressively as the sandpaper did. Once you're happy with the results there is two ways to move from the 1 micrometer powder to the 0.5 micrometer powder. You can clean the existing pad until there's no more alumina left and apply the 0.5 micrometer powder. Or it's easier to have a dedicated pad for each different powder. So switch out the pad, prepare the next powder, and continue to polish your sample. So now if you notice there's a lot of uh, buildup and debris, you can do a clean cycle or run a clean cycle which is essentially when you're running the machine you press this little fountain button on the console and this will run water internally to try to clean up as much of the gunk inside 
You can also run this while you're polishing your sample so that anything that comes off your sample is cleaned immediately. In either case, you clean the machine. Just do that once or twice. You can even take a damp cloth and wipe down any areas that the water can't get to. And that's it. That's how you use the grinding slash polishing machine to polish and grind your samples. Hope you guys enjoyed that and we'll see you in the next video.